did you know there's an ingredient in your toothpaste that is actually making your gum sore? It's called sodium lauryl sulfate, and it's in a lot of toothpastes, even this one. If you ever get a burning or tingling after brushing, then SLS might be the reason. I look inside mouths all the time. Not in a weird way, I'm a dentist. So I know that certain people should definitely be avoiding SLS in their toothpaste. I'll tell you why some of you should be making the switch and give you my top recommendations for SLS-free toothpaste. So firstly, what is SLS and why is it in our toothpaste? Well, it's added to make toothpaste foamy and for lots of us, that's great. The soapiness from SLS helps to spread toothpaste around your mouth and it's what gives us that really nice, fresh, clean feeling after brushing. But for some people, it's just a bit too harsh and it's irritating, especially if you've got sensitive skin or if you're prone to getting rashes. Now, it's not time to throw away all of your toothpaste just yet. If your toothpaste does have SLS, but you don't get any side effects, then crack on. It's completely safe to use. But if you do react to SLS and you get some discomfort after brushing your teeth, then you might be better off switching to a gentler SLS-free toothpaste. Who should try SLS-free? Well, if your mouth is uncomfortable at all after brushing it, a tingling, a burning, sometimes an itchiness or a raw feeling inside your mouth, then maybe you should try an SLS-free. Anyone that suffers with a health condition that causes their mouth to be sore. So if you have oral lichen planus, um, burning mouth syndrome, or if you have a very dry mouth, maybe a condition like Sjogren's could cause it. If you are prone to getting oral ulcers, if you get them regularly, then the SLS might be aggravating your symptoms or delay healing. Also, if you don't like foamy toothpaste, children with sensory sensitivities or autism might struggle with the foamy texture. If you think SLS might be causing issues for you, the good news is there are lots of great alternatives. I've tried and tested out a whole bunch, looking at the ingredients, and I'm gonna give you my top picks. We want a toothpaste that is gentle enough not to cause irritation, but obviously still cleans effectively. SLS-free toothpaste might not have the same foamy texture, but it can be just as effective in removing plaque and keeping your teeth and gums healthy. Some toothpastes use SLS alternative to get that soapy texture. Now a common one is called CAPB or cocamidopropyl betaine. It works in the same way, but it's less harsh. Now my top pick and the one I use myself is this one. It's the Oral-B Densify Decay Control. It's a great all rounder, a toothpaste for every day and suitable for the whole family. Now on the label, it says it's advised for 12 and over, but over sixes can use it. It's just important to be supervising making sure that they're spitting out and not swallowing any toothpaste. It contains dentist recommended fluoride, 1450 parts per million, in the form of sodium fluoride and stannous fluoride. And stannous fluoride is a bit of a super ingredient, really. I really like it. Um, it's clinically proven to fight against tooth decay and gum disease, and it reduces sensitivity. It has a eucalyptus peppermint flavor, and I'm a fan of the refreshing taste of a minty toothpaste. It doesn't contain SLS, but it does have the alternative CAPB. So it still does have a foamy texture and my mouth feels clean after using it. Now, one thing just to note, um, Oral-B have a range of toothpastes and also a number of Densify toothpastes. It's only this particular Densify Decay Control that doesn't have SLS in it. So always check your label beforehand. For younger children, and an SLS-free toothpaste, you can't go wrong with the Aquafresh Splash. It's got fluoride in it, so it will protect young teeth, but it's also strawberry flavour. So that's an instant win with lots of children. SLS-free, of course, but also no artificial colours or sugar. It has a natural alternative to SLS, so you still get some foam, but not harsh at all. My next pick is Aura Nurse. It's a fluoride-based toothpaste that's SLS and foam-free, flavour-free, 
non-foaming and still has fluoride. I specifically recommend this to anyone that has sore, sensitive mouths and they need a super gentle toothpaste. So if you have a medical condition like lichen planus or burning mouth, if you've had radiotherapy following head and neck cancer, then Auronas could be for you. Its formula is designed to be a soothing, hydrating toothpaste without irritation. So of course it's SLS free, but unlike some of the other toothpastes, it doesn't foam up at all. The SLS hasn't been swapped out for any alternative foaming agents. Auronas is also a really great option for some children. If you're a parent, and you struggle to get your children to brush, it might be because they don't like the strong minty flavours or the foamy texture in regular toothpaste. Children with autism or other sensory sensitivities might struggle with a strong toothpaste as well. And they should give Auronus a try because it's got no flavour whatsoever. It doesn't foam. It's still got fluoride in it and it's still going to be protecting their teeth, but it doesn't have any of the strong flavours that they might not like. My third pick is a toothpaste I've recently come across and it's quickly become a fan favourite in my household and it's the Zing toothpaste range. My favourite is the original mint. I just really like a minty toothpaste and it feels super clean and fresh. But if you don't like mint so much, for my children, they really prefer the other flavours. So they've got a soft peach, a lemon and an apple and kiwi and they really do taste good. The Zing toothpastes are full of ingredients that promote healthy teeth and gums. I love that it contains fluoride, of course. They always recommend fluoride toothpaste, but also hydroxyapatite, which is a natural enzyme that works to make enamel stronger. It's SLS free, it's vegan, it's cruelty free, and it's made in the UK. It's a bit more expensive than some of the other brands, but it's a thoughtfully made toothpaste um, and very effective and a great choice for adults and children over eight. If you're interested in an SLS free toothpaste, then check out some of these. I've written an article on myprivatedentist.com with a few more of these options and I'll pop it in the description below so you can check out all the toothpastes I recommend. Of course, if you're having any dental troubles, it's really important that you check in with your dentist and they can give you personalised advice. I hope you found this video useful. I'll see you on the next one.